I'd now like to talk to you about another subject matter case, and this is Palmer and Simmons, which is 1854, 2 Drew, 221. And this case relates to the will of Henrietta Roscoe, who left her property, she gave her property, I should say, to the Reverend Thomas Harrison and her grandnephew William Simmons for them to use as trustees for the benefit of Henrietta Roscoe Markham, who was the daughter of Robert Markham, who was to be the principal beneficiary of, of Henrietta Roscoe's bounty. But the salient part of the will that we're interested in for this subject matter point is this part that says, quote, to leave the bulk of my residuary estate for his own use and benefit. So to what extent does bulk of my residuary estate sufficiently cause us to think that that is certain in terms of subject matter? So if we use this rice, for example, and we just simply divide the rice here, and we say that this is the estate, the assets of the testator, or testatrix in this case, we should say. We divided it there, but with sufficient certainty, can we say that either pile of rice is the bulk of that estate? And indeed, the vice chancellor in the case uh, said when he was defining bulk or thinking about bulk of a residuary estate, he said, what is the meaning then of bulk? The appropriate meaning according to its derivation is something which bulges out. So is that pile there, the bulk of this estate? Or would that be the bulk of the estate? That pile now, now we've transferred some over. Similarly, is that the bulk of the estate? All three of those different piles of rice could be said to be the bulk. Ergo, this is uncertain. We don't know what bulk means. If all of the estate had been divided up so that all of these bits of rice had gone to specific objects and that that was the residuary estate, not the bulk this part here, not the bulk of the residuary estate, but that in its entirety is the residuary estate, then that would be sufficiently certain. But to say the bulk of that, we don't know what that is with sufficient certainty. So it's not a surprise that Vice Chancellor Kindersley in the case held that the uh, testamentary document, the will, was not sufficiently certain that no trust had been created. So, in other words, in terms of a battle for value, the husband of the testatrix took the property absolutely. So that's Palmer and Simmons, an, uh, a 19th century case that was decided, of course, uh, the judgment was given anyway in 1854, that tells us something about bulk and subject matter and certainty by reference in our instance to rice until next time goodbye